Good morning to the ring of power. Good morning to the rising sun. And we are here to, today at the 6th of April. And this morning, a very dear picture, what I carry in my heart, came close to me. And I want to start with this. We were together with the question, meditating, how can we serve the earth? body or the earth the best right now and for me this morning I, it came like a memory what I connect with tribal life and I see pictures where all the members of the community before they meet in a group as human beings they go out to their power places they meditate and they deeply listen to the earth they deeply listen what do you tell me today what is my day about and so today I try to make it a little, a little bit like a poem that what I received from the earth in my meditation. And so with this question, how can we serve the best? The main thing came, are you ready to listen? And this morning again, it was such a powerful, beautiful morning and this feeling, the earth asks us, are you willing to notice that you are part of me? You cannot exist without me. And so I carry something like a me, like you carry. I carry something like a heart, like you carry. And when you, as humanity, learn to open your heart again, you will perceive what are the next things to do. So many people are always busy with the question, how can we rescue the earth? And the earth answers to me, I don't need to be rescued. I am here. Humanity needs to be rescued. And my deep call to humanity is, are you willing to open your heart for the reality of life? Are you open to my beauty? Are you open to see that something in humanity is so sick that even the whole earth body becomes sick but i will carry for healing at once if you notice how much all my life all my being is directed towards healing so human beings so often ask at once what do you do we have to do and i ask you first come and perceive come and face come and listen and from there you will know what to do. And I wish so much that the human beings carry me like tender lovers. First ask, then touch. First perceive, then come in contact. It's like in a love relationship. If you have a sexual encounter with, without really asking the other one, then it's violent. But if you are in contact, it's a ce celebration of the divine. And in this sense, I think there will be a lot of advices from the earth, how we deal with the waters, how we deal with the fires, how we deal with the plants, and how we deal with all vis invisible and visible beings. The earth body is more than matter. The earth body carries a metaphysical heart. And in the moment when we are coming in contact with this, we will heal and the earth will heal. And I have to say, with all these corona stories, also the earth tells, are you willing for a while not to listen all the news and again and again with the question, nourishing the fear? Yes, corona tells us something in the whole is sick, but also something in the whole is wanting to bring us to consciousness of healing. And that we are one. We cannot refuse this. And as long as we deal with this virus as an enemy, we won't heal. We have to listen. What is the story of this virus? What does this story want to tell us? And the earth shows us. I am in the process of healing now because humanity had to stop their being over busy. And now are we willing to really ask what will we do afterwards? There was a beautiful message from the Hopis, and the Hopis, they told, please stay with your joy, please face the situation, face your fears, and also face what is behind your fears. 
And I often feel behind our fears, there is the biggest treasure we have to discover. So we as humanity and society are dealing society consciousness mainly with our trauma. But behind the trauma, there is the gift, there is the treasure. And every being has a special contribution if we discover our gift behind our fear. So let's face our fears and let's look what is behind the fear which really wants to be revealed and wants to be our contribution towards life. And let's really take the time for vision quest. Let's ask, what will we do if the virus is over? Will we go back to normal life? Or do we carry a real vision in our heart to come back to the earth and to communicate from center to center? May we have a blessed week. Thank you and yes, goodbye. <laughs>